Good morning and welcome to the book of Exodus today. We're at chapter 21, verses 12 to 14. I'll read them through. He who strikes a man so that he dies shall surely be put to death. But if he did not lie in wait for him, but God let him fall into his hand, then I will appoint you a place to which he may flee. If, however, a man acts presumptuously toward his neighbor so as to kill him craftily, you are to take him even from my altar that he may die. Okay, so we have a kind of a triad of laws here, and a lot of these we're going to find grouped in threes, uh, and it seems weird to us, but for as like a memory thing, there's a lot of strange things that look strange to us, but those are groupings that are going to be helpful to us. So here we have three laws that are, remember, we're kind of out of the apodictic law, we're in the causistic law. Uh, so in causistic law, this is like if then, this is what you do, here's a, here's a paradigm, here's an example, this is what you do in these cases, and then the judges are to rule from that into the particular unusual, you know, different pieces of each each case, each event. So right here we're going to do, remember that a lot of these laws are going to be adapting the Ten Commandments into particular cases. So this is especially in the area of the Sixth Commandment, you know, that you should not kill. So here we have this, and it's this weird set of three. So there's a bunch of different bits here, but let's just take this one. Uh, there's this theory out there that, you know, if you go into a church, that somehow is a sanctuary space, a sanctuary space. If somebody's a murderer, they can maybe like go in and be in the church and somehow they can't be arrested or something. Well, that's kind of a Hollywood thing. That's certainly not a Bible thing. Uh, here we have, you see at verse 14, even if somebody is a murderer and they come in and they grab the altar, and there's a couple of occasions like that that happen in the Bible uh, where they're pleading that, you know, don't kill me. He says here, if they're a murderer, they're to die. You drag them right off of the, the holy altar. <laughs> so uh, God is not going to let people get by with some kind of uh, weird relic thing, or this is holy, I'm going to hang out here. Uh, so yeah, the murderer is brought to, uh, brought to account, even if, he, even if he grabs the altar. Okay, that's an interesting piece. So let's look at that first verse, verse 12. That was verse 14, but here's verse 12. He who strikes a man so that he dies shall surely be put to death. Uh, there's a death penalty. There it is, capital punishment. You shall not kill, the Ten Commandments say. Uh, if you do kill, here's a case. Uh, if you're basically guilty of murder, then you would yourself, your life would be forfeited. And you would die. You would be killed. Uh, then we have this verse 13, which is kind of this weird middle verse. It seems weird to us because, you know, we have... We have highlighting, we have number systems, and we have a way of sort of ordering things that make sense to us with our Western Roman, Western Greco, uh, Western minds. Uh, in the Hebrew mind, though, uh, we often have these, these chiasms, these uh, sets of three or something weird. It's in, the main point is in the middle. Uh, or anyway, we have things or, or, or oriented so that we can uh, remember them better. And here we have the middle case, verse 13. But if he did not lie in wait for him, but God let him fall into his hand, then I will appoint you a place to which he may flee. There is a case there for basically what we would call manslaughter. It's an accidental killing. Uh, and of course, it's not here yet, but it's going to be. There are going to be the cities, the cities of refuge scattered across the land where if you accidentally killed somebody, you would uh, immediately zoom to those that location where you would be able to uh, live without having the avenger of blood come for you. Remember, if, if, if uh, you killed somebody, even accidentally, there's sort of a law of uh, you kill my relative, I kill you. Uh, that sort of is, is built in there. And so the, the manslayer, the person who accidentally kills somebody, he is to uh, move immediately to one of those sanctuary cities. And we'll find out more about that uh, looking ahead. But, uh, but there is provision made here for the person who accidentally kills somebody, and he will be able to go to a place of refuge. So that's an interesting piece. Interesting piece in the middle of verse 13 if he did not lie and wait for him, but God let him fall into his hand. There's something about that that's kind of like God is somehow allowed this person to die in this kind of un, uh, unintended way. Um, and so there's some sort of piece of maybe divine providence that would be looked at there as possibly this was something that God, God is okay with that happening. And so uh, there's provision made, that person can, can get away. So it's interesting, uh, we have that piece. And then of course in verse 14, uh, if you kill somebody craftily, if you premeditate, there's murder is premeditated, you're gonna die. And so even if you grab the horns of the altar, you're done. 
you'll be taken out and uh, once the case is settled and clear that you premeditated, you'll, you'll be killed. So this is the way it is. You're not to start by killing, uh, but if so, then uh, that's not allowed. That's simply not allowed. And so you have this case. So here we have three laws, verse 12, 13, and 14, having to do with murder, uh, killing, accidental killing, all kind of helping us understand one of the Ten Commandments right there. So interesting pieces here, and we're going to see some more interesting pieces as we move on. See you tomorrow morning.